Oh, I told you Freddy was a pedophile. He looking for the children. All right, look, you see what I'm saying? Look at his eye. Look, look, they didn't go move the whole. I'm fine. All right, could you pop the trunk for me really quick? Okay. Pull out your Glock and shoot the cop. I knew it. What the fuck? Show me your hand. I knew it. I, this had a fuck it though, bro. It's your life. Okay, so today it's gonna be a very, very long. What did he say? Very, very long one. I'm pretty sure it's a long VHS tape. What? Uh, today we reacted to Freddy Jr. Origins Part One, made by Twelve Man. About fifty minutes long. Okay, fifty minutes. This shit better be heat, bro. Uh, okay, hold on. All right. Uh, you ready? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Maybe I should turn down my. Let's turn. Let's let's get into it. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, like that, like that. Let's keep it like that. All right. Has the the video has like sixty thousand something? I don't know. We gonna we gonna see though. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Let me drink some of my water real quick. What the fuck? What happened? I can't see anything. What is that? A white line? Alright, I see a table. Damn. Damn. Uh, I, Freddy, maybe? I think Chico was on the right. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, they go Foxy. Looking like a crackhead, but... Okay, now what is this? Like, what is? I, I don't know what that is. Hello? Is something moving on over there to the right, or am I bugging? I'm probably tripping. What did that say? Oh, this is a different type of one. I don't think I'm ready for this. Uh. Okay. It said. The, the the video title is called Freddy Jr. Origins, so it must be like telling me the start story. I don't know. I'm not, I I I'm not. Let me shut up. Okay, it's got better quality than most VHS tapes. I'm messing with it. Oh, this 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 must be uh what the two thousands. They had quality like this back then. Shit, they didn't even have color, did they? I mess with like the the new, the new like stage. My body looks like that. Why he standing like? Why is his arms like? What, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I think I'm a little too black. Let me turn it up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, what's going on? Some did something like pop off. We're gonna we're gonna see some Anna. The light gonna cut off, and we just see Freddy and Foxy throwing hands. Oh hell! Yeah. Look at Chico over there. I bet you she just dreaming about some pizza. Fat ass chicken. Let me stop. I'm sorry. That was me. Look at Foxy over there. You know, some power booty or what? Like, Freddy probably wants some drugs, but. Hello? Oh, I told you Freddy was a pedophile. He looking for the children. All right, look, you see what I'm saying? Look at this. Look, look, look they didn't go move the whole time. Look. I know he was pedophile. I knew it. I said it the last time. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it now, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, but y'all yeah, not listening. I hear a child, and I hear a, 
uh, said something sizzling. I really don't want to give you my thoughts on those two, but I'm gonna just keep it pushing. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Hello? Is that the kitchen? You finna go over there or what's up? Okay. I hear a lot of bubbling. Is that the grease? Nah, stop, 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 stop. Stop. You that you serious? No, no, please. I'm like, I, I don't know if you're having the same thoughts as me, but I really don't want to see. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, please. You know, bro. No, it can't be. He, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't show that. I'm sorry, that's the first, that's the only pause. They have the, the fucking audacity to put the nuggies. <laughs> but I, I swear, I swear, it's... Replace. Replace filter, now. Stop frying, okay. Now what? Am I supposed to be doing this? What is this like an interaction? Can you come shut this off, please? Appreciate it. Damn. What was the part? I'm so confused though, like what what's going on? What, like, what is this supposed to like indicate? I probably should have watched something else other than this. The reason I'm speaking really loud because the video is loud too, so like I can't really hear myself. Five or six already? The the nuggies or the or bodies or the kids. One is getting ready, 30. It's so loud. It's so loud. It is so loud in my ears right now. I cannot hear my soul. It, oh. Did they cook the bodies? Is that what? What's that, Golden Freddy? Is that Golden Freddy, bro? <laughs> Golden Freddy. <laughs> well, I didn't know you was here. Was it? Did they? Did they cook them kids? Did they cook them? I didn't know they did all that in the Lord, bro. I, I must have missed some. They can say they can cook and put it on nuggies, bro. Whoa! And then turn on the air vents so it wouldn't stink, like. <laughs> William, you sinister, bro. You're a sinister nigga. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I like how it's just not only focusing on like just the restaurant. It's like focusing on everything right now. So I mess with that. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Damn. Okay. Drifting. Clean ass drift. I, I mess with that. You must be a NASCAR driver, right? Eh? You be whooping the SRTs? Uh, City of Brighton Law Enforcement and Crisis Prevention HQ. Okay, but why is it situated kind of in the corner of the t the town? Uh, trying to you trying to be low key? I feel that. So, uh, where the kids at? Sports near perfection. Uh, is that basketball? I think yes. I can tell which players that was. Mr. Jonathan Hunter is requesting access to your office. Chief Jonathan Hunter, 
She said she was scheduled for a meeting with you now at 8.30 p.m. Schedule number 623. Should I let her in? No. Yes. Yeah. Let her in. Who is it? This this looks like the the president, bro. Oh. No, no law enforcement, bro. Good evening, Mr. Oswald. Hello, Mrs. Jennifer. Please take a seat. She kind of bad, though. This one, sir? Exactly. This one. Go ahead and sit down, bro. Ain't nothing to be afraid on, of. I won't eat you. Is you scared of the chair or something, bro? Like, what? I fuck with that. What is that on your neck, bro? I think he got one of his little chests right there, too. Mrs. Hunter, I'm guessing you won't be surprised if I told you I'm not very happy about the recent set of events regarding your infamous pupil, right? Yes, Is this sir. still for that? You know that uh, the thing that happened in Brighton yesterday cost us a lot. What Money, happened? Reputation, and most importantly, safety. Am I right, Mrs. Hunter? Mm. Yes, sir. We're still talking about the same thing, right? FNAF? Turns out this case is more complex than we previously thought. Damn, our institution has failed to provide oh, us we, with sufficient I see, feedback. I see, I see. No word on it. It said after. Provide necessary evidence regarding Freddy Fazbear's pizza party oh, yeah, and its owner. Yeah, we we definitely still talking no about it. No way the community knows more details about him than we do. I'm still wondering where that backlash even came from. I mean, we know more because we look into it. You probably. You didn't I go with the documents I asked you to bring okay. to today's meeting. Let me stop talking. Um, yes, I am. Um, I brought everything you asked for. Excellent. Why y'all move like? Why y'all move like that? Are they? For... I really like this though. It's like way different from As whatever I watched. Which is basically a report of a community survey about influential people in our town says. This fellow was quite famous in our town's community. Yeah, he killed kids. Let me read some of the interesting parts aloud. He stuffed kids in uh, suits. Widely known as local creep. Oh, Never God. had any friends Never besides did. a few exceptions. But probably those Henry. were either as creepy as him or purely mentally unstable. Henry probably was unstable. Examples. Case honest. of Henry Richard Emily, his suicide attempt. Case of Roman Harris and his mental breakdown involving public exposure and alleged assault against what children I told you. in kindergarten. Try to tell you. I told Looks Not pretty too. nasty. Nice friends he had. Nigga was not nice at all. Also, the owner himself showed too much interest towards children and seemed eerily friendly towards them. Well, he was a children's restaurant owner after all. I do wonder why. Ah, uh, what else? Nigga was slick a pedophile if you think about it. It's, that's pretty Abduction. Whoa. Brighton's great child abduction of 1983 Whoa. and 1984. Six children went missing, suspected to be responsible for the abduction, since all disappearances occurred at his restaurant, but no evidence was found proving his involvement. Mm. He's checked the restaurant, his house, car, and Chica. other Look belongings, Chica. but no children. Look at Chica right trees. there. Look at ugly. DNA was... Ooh, was that a body inside of Chica? Oh. I seen a face. That's interesting. Bite of 83 Ethan incident, which resulted in William's oh, his, son, his Ethan's son. death. Okay. Mm. A couple of bullies grabbed him and inserted him in Fred Bear's jaw. Supposedly, uh, such an event had a massive impact on William's sanity. Yeah. Oh, and our recent infamous case, poisonings. Lab analyses confirmed the presence of various parasitic organisms in restaurant poisonings. products. Also, <laughs> a few of the products were stale upon arrival. Damn. The lab analyses confirmed that the parasitic organisms were genetically modified to be able to develop faster, survive in rough conditions, and efficiently reproduce. What the fuck? Such modified species do not appear in nature, which confirms that someone added those artificially enhanced worms to the meal beforehand. Jesus Christ. However, at the restaurant and Williams or and his employees' place of residence, no evidence or any traces that would indicate their faults were found. Mm. No evidence signifying that William Afton and his employees were in possession of biotechnological measurements were found. That's like food Control right? has requested the court to sentence William to five years in prison for neglecting food quality control procedures and inability to comply with basic hygiene regulations. Bro, give that nigga a, a life. To one year in prison. Give that nigga life, please. Keep him in there. That nigga don't need to be out. What? 
Did we forget that he killed kids? That's when things went down. Shit. Oh, now we finna get into the VHS tape. Mm. Wait, what? Because y'all sentenced William after the one year of prison? This what happened? I ain't know the town messed with William like that. I thought they called him a creep. Or maybe it was because of the the what thing that happened at the pizzeria. Maybe they mad about that. I'm confused right now, though. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what's going on. Ooh, okay. Are oh, they going stupid right now? Is that nigga on fire? Yeah, I think y'all should just nuke the town at this point, bro. Everything's on fire. Everything's going to... Sh oh, this is 85, though. This is not 87. Mmm. Okay, but that doesn't seem to add up to me. I've read the entirety of the report, and despite various nasty things written about him, the report mainly summarizes that he's innocent. Well, I mean, I mean, most of the time, but most of the but time he's innocent. But why people hate him so much for leading a supposedly not very successful and dangerous restaurant? Also, oh, that's what there was a matter I say about. that this man was just really unlucky when it comes to leading a big and ambitious restaurant. Nah. Brand. I mean, he didn't know that he would hire some creeps earlier. He, he would ruin his reputation by adding God knows what to the food. He's a creep. He also didn't know for a while that children were going missing in his restaurant. He and even after learning that, he tried his best to help the missing children's parents. But, nigga, but they just kept rejecting his help offer. That nigga and killed he, the kids and helped the better, parents. They were suing him, thinking he was responsible for all of this. He is. But those cases, fortunately for him, ended as rejected because no evidence against him was found. They gonna find it. That's the most concerning part. I suspect that some nut job among the enraged community decided to play God. Started doing dirty things to put William and his company in a bad light. Could wind up even more hate towards him. He need hate. I know that the report directly confirmed he's innocent. No allegations were proven besides the food quality one. But here's a funny thing. Most restaurant owners don't care about what they produce nowadays. Tight. Just serve a turd on a plate and only get fined for that. What? And people seem to have no problem with it. Who would go eat a turd? What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> oh, God. What? Hard to imagine what could have happened. Just wondering why people would go after him. Because they know something better than you? Maybe it is. it is because of that... Uh, remember that, uh, that... That burger restaurant with similar looking animatronics. Uh, with the rabbit one as a main. I, I can't recall how it was named. Red Bears? <sighs> ne never mind. Something burger at Bond's thing, or something like that. All brand ass. Well, a few years what? prior, people after incidents with that restaurant went nuts. And what I suspect is when they saw that something was wrong in a similarly working restaurant with mascots and other child-friendly staff, yep. they immediately started to blame the owner for that. Mm. Wanted to deliver justice themselves. But that case was a completely different thing. I highly doubt that would enrage people years later. It's also a be surprised. presumably second <laughs> reason. If you have no idea what something is about, then it's probably about the money. I just noticed William that this dude got a, a big ass ball spot on the, the top of his head. His fortune was obtained legally. He said, "I'm thinking of the wrong." Reason, I'm though, according to the survey, people shit. widely referred to him as a wise guy and thief. And as you know, nobody likes thieves. Envy drives people insane. Mm. Sharpens most primitive senses. Mm. Effective enough to ruin someone's reputation. Mm. Okay, so what do we do now? Who's to blame for all of this? William. Among the community? I guess we'll never know, but mainly, fault is on our side. We failed to solve this case, and innocence started to suffer. Mm. But at least we can do something to save William from widespread backlash now. Y'all need to mean? put that in jail, please. We'll change William's identity and relocate him to a different federal correctional institute. He'll serve there a year and then we'll release him as a completely different person. We'll supervise him afterwards for a few weeks, see how he behaves, provide him with a bit of financial support, a new what? flat, help him grab a fresh start in life and cut him off from his previous community completely. What? At this point, everything's gone too far. But what if 
what if he reopens his restaurant and the same events happen all over again? <laughs> Not possible. First, he won't have enough money to start such a business. And even if he does, I doubt he wants to play with family restaurant businesses ever again. He do. Second, he, he do. Even if he, he wants to, he, wanna, he wants to kill kids. Targeted location, I doubt that stuff would repeat itself. Sorry. Look, are you sure this is a good idea? Trust me, it's a foolproof plan. That man may be new in the restaurant industry, he may make mistakes, but he's not a kidnapper, murderer, a poisoner. I interviewed him earlier, that before nigga, the court session. Uh, he's a killer. He's very genuine. He killed honest, niggas. He, he killed them kids. He and killed I all them motherfucking bitches. I'm to trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, well. He'll kill I'm you if you had a chance. Okay. And that'll be it for today, Mrs. Hunter. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Mr. Oswald. She said goodbye because that nigga finna be dead. Like, huh? <laughs> Boys don't play with no niggas, bro. He the psychopath, like. Right? October 5th, 2009. That's three days off of my birthday. Well, I'm, I was born in 2007, but like shit. The computer did this. A trash ass background. You said I'm hate? Sorry. Let me just got it. You got all your shit just scattered across the damn screen, like, you know? Hello? Like, what you finna open up, uh, FNAF on the computer? Night 5, maybe? Right. What are we looking at? Okay, somebody got on. Nice. Finna boot up some Fortnite. What? What is that say? Spay spatial? I think spatial? Uh. This. This. Push. This portion? Spatial dis dis distribution or something? I don't know. Fuck it. The former case. It is necessary to include higher. Multi club. I don't even care though. Like, what a stabbing at, bro. What a murder scene. Let me stop. I mess with it. I mess with the video, bro. That is ness. Damn, I can't even read. Damn, you can hear his tapping outside of the room, bro. If I was this kid, bro, I would have came out of nowhere and be like, Dad, can you shut up, please? It's, it's 3 a.m. on a Saturday. You have work in the morning, sir. Like, go to bed. Damn. Okay. I don't know what none of this says. I can kind of, like, I can kind of read it, but it's just too much for me. Okay, you finna email this to somebody? Oh, this must be Microsoft Word. That's what this is. Reckless parking and damage Hello, to my Harold. car. I just heard about your recent Ooh. problems with your urinary tract infection that essentially lands you in the hospital. And I hope you're recovering well right now. It feels like it's been ages since the two of us had a proper conversation with each other. Each other. And I was wondering in the future if we could just skip to, skip to Skype sometime in the future because... Let me stop. At the end of the day, where's the communication just sending each other emails with this shit? So anyway, yet again, I've stumbled upon something incredibly bizarre and disturbing. Okay. And I can't shake off the feeling that there's something very odd happening around us right now. And, you know, with those VHS recordings, it's just like, seeing how common and similar to each of those other tapes are, I, I don't know, man, it's just We're like... We're getting to the tapes. It's like a sting is going on. We're getting to the tapes. We're getting to the tapes. Anyway. Oh my god. Uh, last week, Harold. Oh my god. I went to a local flea market. Oh my goodness. You know, just skimming through some stuff. Not looking for anything flea for me and the wife. Just, you know, curiosity. You went to the flea market looking for something for the wife? And among the usual array of knickknacks and vintage items, All right. I found a huge collection of old VHS tapes, mm. being only 25 cents per tape. Mm. And according to the seller, uh, most of them were just old old movies and TV shows, but there was one that had caught my eye. Yeah. And that one was the the rare Star Wars 1992 Fox release uh, VHS tape. Bro. 
Now, since the owner was not selling the tapes separately, and out of pure self-indulgence and nostalgia, and because I was a huge Star Wars fan when I was, when I was a child, I bought all the tapes for, for 25 cents uh, per tape. Okay. And when I got home, and after watching the Star Wars tape, yeah. I went on to browse through the, the rest of the tapes because, you know, again, curiosity will kill the fucking cat eventually. Okay. And, you know, I enjoyed them. They were fine. But hey, you enjoyed them. I don't care. When bro. I finished checking out all of them, and I decided to digitize them all and archive them for, you know, purposes for the Internet Archive and anything to do with YouTube and just okay. video essays on, on stuff that's, like, lost media. All right. Among, among about 43 of those, of those tapes, I found two... Mm. Which I would say were different. Okay, how different? And I decided to originally digitize them instead of send their contents over to you uh, via Jiggle Drive. Jiggle Drive? No. Nigga, please what? Check these files as soon as possible, Harold. Because they're going to be deleted. And if you value if you value your sleep, Harold, do not download them onto your computer. Download them, Harold. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just me or not. But, but when I had those tapes lying around, you know, including the previous ones that I've shown you, I suffered from a lack of sleep thanks to those horrible fucking nightmares mm. relating to those tapes. Mm. And wiping my drive clean and burning all those tapes in the campfire really relieved me from those awful nights. I don't know what it was, but it was just like, I think there's a sting going on. A sting or like an going ambush, on? And we just so happen to be part of it, but we don't know that we're part of it, so. What are you talking about, sir? If you don't just, just, again, please take care of yourself. If you right. don't go ahead and click on the, the tape, I'll Harold, bro, like, tell this dude to shut up. Like, <laughs> click on the tape. Go ahead and click on that. Yeah. Go ahead and click on the Harold. Go ahead and click on the Harold. <laughs> it's a tape, bro. It's not a tape not gonna bite you. Ah, ah, ah. You scared of a little nightmare? Yeah. A little night. Yeah. Like, come on, Harold, buddy. What's up? Hello? Recover auto audio recording one. Whoa. Okay. Look how happy he is. Look how happy that dude is up there. Ain't shit to be smiling about. Uh, hello? God damn it, Cole. Are you there? Oh, jeez, William. Ooh. Hello. Uh, I didn't expect you to call me this late at night. Wake up, Carl! Wake I need up, you to Carl. listen to me. We're screwed. And I mean, really screwed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. W what happened? You just woke me up. I just got in the mail from the food control and a call letter from the local police station. Some cook or someone must have talked. William, wait, wait, talked? About what? Just fucking wake up and think! Y'all calming down? We don't need to be cussing here. It's all it's all good. Oh no. Y'all got caught, it's all good. You don't mean Y'all going to jail. Since I trust you the most, I want you to listen to me, okay? I want you to do exactly what I say. I want you to take the fifty five years off me and you do the you do, you do the left. You're the only one who has these jars with worms right now. Drop the contents of these jars into the acid tanks you have in your basement. After emptying these jars, wash them, Acetates. and go deep into the St. Kawana forest, smash them inside a plastic bag, and bury them at least 7 to 10 feet down. Alright. Alright, you're not gonna... Also, <laughs> you're uh, not gonna say anything about what he just told you to do, bro? Like, what? You know what? Screw the client! Take Anthony out of the freezer, dump her into the acid tank, cut contact with the client, and dump her as well. If the Federals get into your basement and discover her like that, we're gonna have more problems than I already have. It's not very likely though, but we need to be cautious. These niggas After you're is done crazy, with erasing the evidence, get those tanks into your car and take the Watch how you say alright. Watch how you say fine. You know where it is. Drive calmly and do not attract the police. They do not know about your involvement in my restaurant yet. Watch. So you should be safe, but still just be alert. Okay. Nigga said okay. Wait. You see what I'm saying? What? What about the restaurant money? What about our Carl, money? Carl, calm, calm down. Calm down. I have it, alright? I already took it. Go to my place. You can have the keys for it. There's a box with two locks in my closet behind the plaster wall, which can be pushed to the side. 
and it should give you limited access to the safe. The codes for the locks are 1103 for the white one. This nigga Carl only in it for the money, bro. He not in it. He not in it for freedom. He in there for the cash. That's one one o three for the white safe, and four five three one for the red safe. Damn, Take William. Take the money and keep it into your house somewhere safe. We're most likely going to be needing it in the future. Okay. All right. Wait, wait a minute. Where the hell are you right now? I, I hear running water in the background. This fucking thing was crap. That's because I threw my goddamn car into the river. You're nigga, the what? I huh? have to get rid of the evidence somehow. You can avert it, bro. The things of the three previous packages in my trunk. Yeah. You know what I mean by packages. Yeah. But don't worry about the car, though. We <laughs> could afford another one. Okay. Can you? Oh, fuck, William. The animatronics. We still have the animatronics to get rid of. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't panic. Don't panic. Before I got rid of the car, I dismantled the animatronics and put them into the crates into our dish that no one knows about. <laughs> Damn, okay, y'all really thought about this. Since we have no other options now, I, uh, I've been thinking for a while. Thinking for what? I've read the letter carefully. What letter? I am wanted for food regulations they collect only, so that means I'm not suspected of any murders. Mm. If that's the case, I'm gonna go to the police station and turn myself in. What?! Are you fucking insane? Call me a rascal! Damn! You don't have evidence, I put those fucking worms in! Also, they do not know about everything I've done previously! Uh, they have no evidence! Okay, we understand. Alright? Yeah, let's calm down. There's nothing else we can do now! If we flee, the whole state's gonna be after us! I'm doing this to focus all of the official's interest on me, so you can keep the business alive for a while while I'm gone! Okay, so we got to calm that down, though. We don't have to cuss, all right? Breathe, yep, yep, okay. In, Whatever out. happens. All right. I must sacrifice myself for the greater good and for our future. Hopefully, I won't be jailed forever. I managed to call my lawyer, an old friend of mine, and he says that he'll try to make my sentence as minimal as possible. They should have put your ass in there for I life. I don't have much time left now, so I have to go. Did they Remember, so do exactly what I said, and do not fuck this up. Make sure no one follows you. Stay alert, all right? I'll keep you updated once I get access to the phone in jail. Okay, but how did y'all... I will come back. How did we get this recording, though? I always though? come back. And why was Remember it... Remember that. I always come back. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Farewell, this Carl, <laughs> and good luck. I always come... Such a leg last up. You go to jail, bro. You going to jail. You can tell me, oh, I always come back. Like, call me shit down. Call me shit down. You going to jail, bro. They gonna take your butt, bro. They taking your butt, bro. <laughs> Go ahead and shut that shit up. <laughs> they don't give a Yeah, you gonna come back, all right? My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, he doing it. Oh, he doing it. Ah, oh, he actually doing it. No. No. Damn. Who, who, uh, perspective this is? William or Carl? I'm, I'm guessing Carl. I think William already turned this stuff in, right? And he said, drive calmly, Carl, not how you driving right now. You driving real reckless, brother. Look, engine revving, bro. You're not driving. Look, he probably going like 70 miles per hour right now. In a, in a, in a, in a 55, like. Come on, Carl. Slow it down, bro. Take take in a nice sunset. You know, take a, take deep breaths, bro. In and out. Yep. Go ahead and slow it down, bro. I really mess with this though, cause like it's really give it's it's not just giving us like inside of the restaurant. It's giving us like, a lot more, right? Damn, what road is this, bro? Is this unfinished? You might want to slow it down, Carl. God, God. Hold yourself, man. Oh no, it's Carl Thompson. Wait, that is that his name? Carl Thompson? It do sound like Carl though. I'm gonna be honest a little bit. Oh, he going in the woods. I need some tissue. Oh, oh. Damn. You're you're cooked. You're cooked. Fuck. You're cooked. Fuck. You're cooked. You're finished. I he already told you, Carl. Carl, he told you at not at. Why? You gonna you gonna speed up or you gonna? Pull over. 
you're gonna speed up or you're gonna watch out watch out watch how they they pull over right watch how they pull over car cops get out he run over the cop and keep you pushing watch watch how he does this okay calm down here calm down calm down calm down watch 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 how you do it watch how you do this shit i believe in you carl Oh, these niggas is murderers. Hold on. Whoa. Uh, whoa. These niggas is murderers. I just realized that I don't believe in you, Carl. Police officer, come get this nigga, bro. You got three bodies in the back. Morning, partner. How you doing today? You uh, said morning. Hello, officer. I'm doing just fine. Doing Great just to hear. Fine. Well, my name is Officer Jacob Clyde. Could you hand over the keys and step out of the car? All right. But uh, the, the keys... Why? It's just a safety precaution. Normal control procedure. Don't worry. Uh, Go ahead and hit that shit, Carl. Okay. I know you want to. Oh, damn. Carl's finished. All right. Here's the keys. Let me just step out of the car real quick. All righty. Take your time. Oh, he's grabbing the camera. Why do y'all always? Why does? Why do criminals always record everything? Uh, is this camera rolling? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm. I'm just recording a home video of me driving. I've always loved driving down this way, and I really like to watch the footage on this road for special occasions at home, you know, when I want to relax. But, but don't worry, I have no intention of showing this to the public, though. It's just for private use. It's... it's all good. It's okay, I'm fine with that. Mm. You can record me and my actions all the way you want, unless you intend on showing this footage <laughs> to the public. Ah, uh, no, y yes, no, I fully understand. Okay. You lie, uh, hell. License and registration, please. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, hang on. Officer, he has Thank three you. bodies in the back right now. He's planning to make you one of them. All right, Mr. Thompson. You find if I just called you Carl? You can call me Jacob in return if you want. <laughs> sure. I've never interacted with such a friendly officer before, <laughs> uh, though I'm surprised. So. Nah, I just want this to be sort of a short and friendly conversation, you know? But I should really get to the point. <laughs> okay, what's the point? Whoa. All right. Do you know why I pulled you over, sir? Because he was speeding uh, right No. He was going fast? You got me. I couldn't tell you. So in case you didn't know... Uh, first, take a look, please. Damn! Look how big that speed monitor or whatever you that is. You the speed limit about 10 miles per hour. And second, Nigga. your left rear light went off. Nigga, he pulled him over because he was going 10 up over the speed limit. I could see if this... No, I ain't even gonna say that. Jeez, really? I feel it. Well, I've always driven the same route, and the speed limit back there was always 60 miles an hour. Yeah, unfortunately, the officials decided to change the sign on the entrance Damn. to Nashville 54 not even five days ago. So now the speed limit is 55 miles per hour here. Damn. God, that's awful. You should consider yourself lucky, honestly, Carl. Not all officers out there are as kind as me. I won't give you a ticket for the speeding, but I unfortunately have to fine you for the broken rear light. I'm really sorry, man, but that's a misdemeanor, and... There's a hundred dollars and a one penalty point ticket for that. Damn! Uh, God fucking damn it. Better just take it. I really it. didn't notice that. What's gonna happen now? Listen, how am I supposed to pay that? Actually, if you do have a working spare bulb and can replace it yourself now, I might just let that slide and pretend that nothing happened. Don't go in a truck. If not, head to any court within the next seven days, show my receipt, and just regulate the fine. Yeah, we're like, I have bulbs in the trunk. But you also got bodies in a trunk. You doing okay, brother? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, could you pop the trunk for me really quick? Okay. Pull out your Glock and shoot the cops. Is it going over? Is it goes over? Is it is it goes over? But it's the go <laughs> Quite a large tank you have here. Can I see what's inside? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but just be prepared for a god awful smell. <laughs> um, listen, I was disposing some old meat from my store, right? And I tried dissolving most of it in a hydrofluoric acid, uh, but there's still little bits and pieces of the old lamb inside, so it's not going to smell very good. That's uh, 
Quite a bizarre way of disposing old meat. I'm not going to lie to you, you've kind of surprised me. It's like in movies <laughs> with dead bodies. <laughs> Am hmm. I right? Say something back to him, Carl! I knew it. What the fuck? Show me your hand! I knew it. This nigga had a... He had a suppressor on his shit. This nigga had a suppressor! The nigga had a suppressor on his pistol. I already, I'm in his entrance of demons. Like, I, I told him to do it. He listened. So... Why aren't you putting a bag over his head? He's already dead, bro. I'm pretty sure this is not about... <laughs> he popped him in his head, I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe he did that to stop... I don't know. What did? Why did he do that? You might want to uh, get that... Uh, fix that light before you go. So you another what's-the-name won't pull you over. And I really don't know why he didn't just like, uh, like tell him that he doesn't have one and keep keep it pushing and go regulate the regulate the fine. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure he's gonna have money after he goes to the safe where William House was. So maybe maybe I should have let him know in his thoughts before he uh, did what he did. But now he's in, he might actually be cooked now. It might actually be over. Oh, damn, that was it. That was it for that VHS tape, though. We got another one, right? The second one. The second one, yeah. The second one might open it! Thank you. Full screen, please. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream today, so. My fault. They go, Will they go William. <laughs> Carl. Carl. Carl, answer the damn phone. Damn, you like that. Hello? It's William. William, I'm mad. How are you? I've heard about your court hearing, and I know it sounds rough, but hey, congrats on your short and sweet sentence. I was afraid it was going to be a whole hell of a lot worse. Carl. I spoke to an agent. Due to the riots that's happening right now, I'm going to have to vanish out of town. Whoa. Um, okay, but, uh, I'm not sure you're allowed to tell me that through the prison phone. No, you fucking idiot. I'm not using a prison phone. I'm not that stupid. I got my hands on a guard cell phone. How? I don't have much time, though, but hear me out. I've heard about my house getting burned down. Is that true? Yep. Up in flames within an hour. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> so oh, he... destroy the evidence they were looking for. Nah. Shit, shit, the guard. I'm gonna have to go, but I'm gonna tell you this. Wait for a phone call. If a person starts to set it with a ring or ring of rosies, do whatever that person says. Forget about my existence for now. Keep the money, but do not spend it yet. You're gonna need it later. Wait for future calls. What you gonna do, Carl? It's all on you, Carl. Gonna do, Carl? Oh, Carl said, fuck that shit. <laughs> ah! What is this? Is this still a VHS tape? Cook, cook, cook again, shall we? Because once you've acquired that new leaf taste, you're gonna want to try it again. The toothbrushes can't go. You can't buy a better cavity fighter than AIM. It tastes great. She's what? Right. It's an ad, bro? Am I getting an ad in the middle of a, a VHS tape? What? This what we do now? How old this shit is? Born in as president of a provisional Philippine government. But Ferdinand Marcos is refusing to step down despite White House urgings. And what is this though? Like, is this still for now? <laughs> like, this is True Point One Television. Okay. Channel 12, Bellwood. Bellwood, nice. 
commercial break. I'm sorry, bro. It's like I'm I'm trying to think of so, second stuff to talk to y'all with. Not if you know how important your beauty sleep is. And only Estee Lauder can give you this unique beauty sleep every night. It's called Night Repair, an exclusive compound. Night repair that cannot Man, be duplicated. Get this shit out of my face, bro. I'm taking night will, bro. Okay. It helps enhance skin's natural repair process. Yeah, right. So even sleeping beauties can wake up to younger looking skin. Yeah, shut that up. Night repair. Uh, now at all shut Woodward that up. Trip stores. Shut that up, bro. The big games tonight. How do you start them off? Damn, right? bro, is it? Ugh. I love it. And it's good for them too, because we use the good ingredients you would. Thank you. Oh wait, boy R D. Oh okay. Oh now we at Freddy's. All right, genuine pizza. Uh, oh this must be uh for now too, huh? Looking toy chica, looking bad. Looking toy chica, looking bad. You might be wondering, is this place real? Is it? it? Is, and it welcomes you. Welcomes everyone. Ball head adding. Genuine pizza. We're fancy and fun. Put the camera. Life. Put the camera back on Toy Chica real quick. Let me see. Uh, book your birthday today. Mmm. Twelfth Films presents. Presents what? A YouTube re or T production. Inspector, call your way. Callaway, I said call you. Whoa, I'm slow. I'm slow on a different level. Kid in the box. I don't know why I said call. I don't know why I said that, bro. I might be a little slow. I might be. We gonna see though. That was it. Damn. Is that like it for the entire thing? He was just about to. He was just about, about to delete it. Mm. You gonna go pick it up? Harold, go pick up the phone, bro. In a part one. Did. Damn, damn, damn. That, yo, that was heat. That was heat. Guess who, guess who, guess who, guess who didn't uh pause the video? This guy. I didn't pause it. I did pause the video a couple times, but it wasn't that much. But we not that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the video we just reacted to. Let me turn them off. That was a great one. Uh 12 man, you did your thing with that. I don't know if most people are gonna mess with things like this. I kinda do. I kinda do. I mess with this shit heavy because like it's not just you know, it wasn't just focusing on the animatronics and jump scares and shit like that. It was focusing on a whole, it had a whole story behind it. You feel me? So, uh, if you don't mess with it, I don't really care. I don't, I don't care. But if you have a longer attention span, you probably gonna mess with it. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. And like I said, always stay safe. And I love you, bro. What? Alright, I'm a focus. Ah, I'm a fault, wish. Ah, bro.